Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is the Mine James channel. Welcome, subscribe, share, comment, like on this video, and guys, you shall have helped helped my team grow. So today I'd like to talk about something that is important to us in our lives. It's good on uh, it's good how we manage it and how we tackle it. And today let's talk about anger. What is anger? Anger, this is a feeling that you normally have a bad it's a bad feeling that some have after something wrong has been done to to him by maybe another person or from the outside environment and at times anger can be good because it helps us bring out the bad the bad feelings that we have had and it can help us to walk out of a situation in a good manner but the, the bad thing of anger is that when it becomes extreme then its consequences can be easily seen and can also affect other people in the environment so some of the main causes of anger are frustration this is when you feel that you have not been able to succeed some goals in your life maybe in your academics maybe for business for the business people like you have not succeeded in performing well in your business and you feel that you have really done wrong to yourself. This can cause anger because you feel that you are like you are not worthy and you have really done wrong. The second thing that causes anger is irritation. This is when you feel that something from the outside environment or from from within from around you is causing you some discomfort or some harm. This can cause you anger. A good example is when somebody maybe smokes in the environment that you are or in the place that you are in. You feel that that smoke smell is really offending you. This can make some it can make you become angry and even you feel that this person is really not respecting me this person is not really considering the, the, that there is someone in this environment and is disrespectful so this can cause you anger and it can cause you to quarrel with other people maybe who are even strangers to you maybe because you have not understood them or such so in such a situation you should just walk away from such an environment the third cause of anger is abuse this is when you are treated with cruelty or something is misused like for example someone might ab use abusive words towards you that is being cruel to you maybe by overworking you maybe in workplaces that is a form of abuse for misuse someone can say that you are very good and this person might be borrowing your properties and not taking care of them that and that is a form of misusing them this can make somebody to be angry with the friends or people whom you live with because you feel that these people are not respecting me they are taking advantage of the things I have or the good personality that I have and this form of this form of abuse can lead to people becoming even enemies and even not living together in the community. The fourth and the final cause of anger is unfairness. This is when you are treated in a manner that is not equal to the others while other and at the same time others are favored or are given a better priority than you are this can cause someone to feel discriminated and feel that there is and there is no good morals maybe in an organization or even within people this can cause someone to be angry with even the organization companies and you feel that you don't really want to work in such a place because you feel that people are being treated in a manner that is not good or some people are being given the first priority compared to the others when this happens you should always stand stand firm with your morals maybe maybe people are being treated unfairly because simply because another person maybe has just given bribes and such but you find the person who is not being treated well nimonye hajapatiana chochote so when such things or such situation arises, you should start firm with your morals and let the good things remain. I also did some research on how we should manage our anger and one of the things that we should do to manage our anger is taking a break or time, time out of a situation that is causing us anger. 
with this we are able to to maintain our good morals and not expose our, the negative side of ourselves this can help us to to cool down maybe reflect on ourselves then go back to the same situation better and stronger and you are able to stay with people in the environment in a good manner and in, interact with them well through understanding them that this person he won't change he'll just remain the same and this will help you to keep grow, going and also not being disturbed by the simple things that you cannot change from people another way of managing anger is sticking always to one statement at times you might find that anger is coming out of people dis really disagreeing in a discussion or in a debate you should always as a person you should always stick to a statement this will help you not bring out your anger and you'll be able to stand firm and defend what is right and avoid just moving to both sides this will help you control your emotions that is anger and avoid ex exposing it to people or even or even causing abusive language in such a discussion the third method of managing anger is don't hold grudges most people do hold grudges and you find that you unapata to that anakuchekeshe you even talk well but this person deep inside he holds grudges against you and unapata that this person anakuanga na anger that anakuanga nayo kwako and one day this anger is going to explode and utapata is this really the same person that i used to see is this the good person that i used to see him treating me very well because why will this happen because utapata huyu mtu amekuwa na some bad bad, bad things that has formed anger na ameweza ku he can he or she cannot hold these things anymore because amekua so much anger has been held within that person maybe against you and you find that when this anger bursts you won't even believe that this person is the same person maybe this person might be even your best friend might be even the person you trust most so it's very good that you don't hold grudges when situation arises that very to misunderstandings just discuss them and Make sure that you come to a point of understanding one another and so that your life can move on well without some people having some bad feelings about the others. The final method of managing anger and this method is really quite challenging because using humor or to create to break the tension that is there. This is something that might even cause somebody to be more angry but it is also a good method for those who know how to make humor because when you know, make humor for some to someone who is angry or maybe in a situation that what you make a sirika and if the people become more angry so it depends with how you create that humor or how you bring it to it so that you ensure that people understand it well so that you ensure that people have really broken that and that bad mood now karudi into the normal mood it is so that you can be able to discuss what you are discussing well or to retain peace amongst yourselves so today guys i have been talking about anger and i hope that you have just learned something from that and you should be able to hold your anger well and hold just handle it well so that you, it can prevent you from spreading out to your bad and negative behavior so that you can be a person who is much com composed so i hope you guys are going to subscribe share comment and like on this video and you can add also some of your views on anger in the comment section till we have another video guys have a nice time